Hello, 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 and welcome everyone to another stream. Oh, another PlayStation 5 Friday. Fuck yeah. Rune Factory 4 Special. I haven't played any Rune Factory games. So, let's get started. Like that sound. Um, just as a reminder to everyone, I am in the lounge room, so I might be a little bit echoey. Um, I do have the balcony door open a smidge for my beautiful cat Sage to come in and out as she pleases. Um, and I don't have my headphones on; they're sitting on my lap in front of me, so um, I might not be as loud as normal. Um, but yes, all the usual updates with all. We're up to 54, up to 55 followers. I've hit the uh, following goal for affiliate. Now we're just waiting on the uh, average view account of three over a span of 30 days. Come on, people. We can, we can do this. We can do it. sort of cat today on Hello American Stream. I got a doctor's appointment at 12.50. That's why I'm streaming a little earlier than normal. No red ex express destination Sophia. I'm flying high, baby. Oh, goodness, I'm so high up. I'm flying high, baby. This choice will make you a male... No. Why would that make me a fucking male? Come on. Look, I want to be a female, but damn it. This ship is heading to the town of Selfia. That town is famous for its god. And I am now trying to deliver this gift to her. The fuck do I look like? Oh, I don't have much time. Excuse me, how close are we to Selfia? Oh, we're almost there. Joyful captain. Are you setting out to do a bit of sightseeing? Uh, yes, something like that. Are those like tassels on her like chest piece? Beautiful air and scenery and got a great atmosphere. You can feel the protection of the god when you're standing on the moat. You'll enjoy your stay for sure. Oh, tassel-esque. Damn. <laughs> I hope so. And now my nose has decided to get become blocked because, you know. Psst. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Ha! By the way, what are we doing? What kind of idiot are you? You don't even know why we're here? Well, you always get mad when I ask. What? <laughs> Nothing. We're here to see that person over there. See? Uh, it's completely dark in here. Look through the hole, dumbass. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I see, so it's that woman. Yeah, with the tassels on her boobs. We're going to make our move. You ready? Yes, sir. Rah! Gangster soldier. We're taking over this ship now. If you don't want to get hurt, do what we say. Got it? Just give us a thing and we'll let you go. That thing you're about to give to the native dragon. How do you know about that? Well, you'd, you'd be surprised what a little research will turn up. How could you possibly... Who, who, who are you? Uh, this gift is very important. I won't just hand it over to a total stranger. It's alright, I've tried for a moment when she's like this. Man, she's definitely got tassels on her tits, eh? First I press 
I see this meant to say L1 to open the L pocket. Then I equip the broadsword and attack by pressing O. You want to fight? Huh? Fine, let's do this. Yes, sir. Okay, was it L1? Equip. No. Oh my god, my nose. Keith, you can like not do this now. Like every time I stream. Great. Bring the tissues over. I don't have my tissue, man. It's at work. <laughs> oh, sorry, just moving around, guys. Oh, we finally got that extension for the for my headphones. So I don't have to like s sit awkwardly and make sure my PS5 doesn't fall off the edge. Sorry guys. How do you know these? How do you? How do these people know about this? Hey, Scoop Underground, how are ya? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyway, if someone's after it, I have to hurry. Oh my fucking nose! Every time I stream. It's a big ass rock that takes up half your body. What the fuck? Hmm, not so fast. <laughs> this is why you never turn your back on an enemy and make sure they're actually down. How are you, Scoop? Wake up already! Man, you hit me hard, what do you expect? Finally. I'm good, good, I'm glad, I'm glad. Phew. So what are we doing again? Just shut up and watch. Now then. It's time to tell us where that thing is hidden. Or else. Who am I? Where am I? Who are you? Let's be confused with who I am. Huh? Uh, who am I? Hey, say something. Uh, I thought you told me to keep my mouth shut. Whatever! Just do what I say. Such a tyrant. Sorry. Sorry. Um, excuse me? Huh? Uh, who are you? Hey, are you trying to play dumb with us? No, um, I, I really don't know. I'll ask you again. Where the hell is that thing you were holding? Damn, I can't stop. I cannot not picture the tassels on her tits. Like, why are they even there? <laughs> I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. You. Sir? Sir? What is it? I thought I told you to shut up. <laughs> sir, it might be amnesia, sir. What? Are you saying a little blow to the head like that caused amnesia? Sir, I don't know, sir, but maybe? Hmm. Um, what? Perhaps, um, it is amnesia? How can you lose your damned memory so easily? You shouldn't cry over spilled milk, sir. I know that. Damn it. No, wait a minute. How do we know you're not just playing us like fools? This could be a trick. A dirty, rotten ploy. Huh? Oh, good point, sir. Alright. Take this fool over there and we'll see if a little spot of threatening brings out the truth. Understood, sir. What? 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 Hey, stop! <laughs> That's one way to drag someone. <laughs> uh, what exactly do you intend to do to me? Well, I'm going to... Uh, sir? What is it? How do you... How do threats work again? Oh my god. <laughs> you! Just use the altitude, damn it! <sighs> How? Do I have to explain everything? Threaten to kick this fool off the ship. Um, like this? What? Huh? <laughs> Threaten, not push. Who the hell told you to actually kick, you dumbass? Man, I love that Sony show. Every time he calls his son a dumbass. Well, 
I don't know how we would survive that, really, truly. <sighs> Dear me. What should I do? Hmm. What? Isn't that the dragon we're meant to give that thing to? Ow. What the heck? Did someone just fall in the sky? Uh, p, p person Man, I look like a fucking doll. Hey there, are you alive? No, probably not. Hello? You aren't dead, are you? Man, I look so stupid there. Ow. Whoa. You are alive. Barely. Are you injured? I don't know. Probably. I just fell from the fucking sky, mate. Well, my back hurts. Oof. But that's all. Good God, woman. Only back pain after falling from the heavens. Just what kind of body do you have? Yeah, I want that body. Fuck. What is it? Uh, talking dragon? Huh? Well, alright, I suppose the introductions are in order. Hmm. Why can't that voiceovers all the time? One of the legendary native dragons governing this world. No. That, so glad that's not coming through my headphones. And I don't care if you've fallen from above, you have no right to enter this chamber unpermitted. What's your name? Me? Lady Ventuswell! What in the world was that noise I just heard? I guess who is this knave? Wait, Vulcanen. Uh, I said wait, we are talking now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, so who are you? Well... Enter our name. Oh, clearly, there's only one name possible. <laughs> Enter your birth date. Fool. Okay, that's as close as I can to my birthday. No. Oh, I missed an S. Oh. Donk. You mustn't give me a vague, non-committal answer. Sorry, clearly. Well, um, the best I can do, I'm afraid. I can't remember anything else besides my own name. Oh my. You speak the truth? Yes, ma'am. I see honesty in your eyes. But amnesia. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, what? must be very confused losing your memory like this. But rest assured, I'll always be, but be on your side. <laughs> oh, this is definitely a Japanese game. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I can't breathe. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Perhaps you're the princess we've been waiting for. Hmm. You do have an air of nobility about you. You must have lost your memory from the shock of the fall. No, 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 it was before that, mate. Do you have any idea how or why you came in to drop from above? Well, you see... Blah, 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 blah. Rebels. Then I suspected as much. That must be villains chasing after the princess, which must be me. You're right. This can't be a coincidence. Vulcanen? Yes, ma'am. Prepare a room for the princess. Right away. Bit, bit, bit. Uh, excuse me, do you mean a uh, room for me? Of course. But I didn't fall down with intent to stay here. No doubt. Huh? Who would intentionally fall from the sky into a castle roof? Ah, uh, touche, touche. It seems the fates have decided your course. There's no need to worry, I assure you. You're here because you're meant to be here. You shall live in this town and perhaps in doing so you may find clues leading to your identity. It seems the most logical course of action, wouldn't you agree? 
I'm not sure I'd call that logical, but I can't believe I forgot it is. Oh, damn, it's going to annoy me now. Are you sure I can stay? Most certainly. Thank you very much. There's no need for that. However, da da da. I hope in addition to your own personal details, you've also forgotten the tone of voice I used earlier. <laughs> earlier? What do you mean? My way of speaking. You know only this, right? You've heard nothing else. Oh, you do sound a little different. Come to think about a little more arrogant, I guess. Sorry. Tish. So you do remember. Did you just click your tongue to do a scythe? Oh, fuck, I'm not saying that. <sighs> you've, if you've heard the other side of me, I suppose there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, well. Uh, Lady Ventus will? Just call me Ventai. Ventai. Sure, why not? At this point, I don't care if you address me with respect. That ship has sailed. Furthermore, stop speaking so politely. It makes me, f makes me rather uncomfortable. Talk to me like we're old friends, alright? Yes, me Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now listen. It's like when people say I don't have to call my uncle and auntie by, oh, this is Uncle Robert or Uncle Liz. No, no, just call them Robert. No, no, no. No, no, They're my uncle and my auntie. It just feels weird. It feels wrong. <laughs> this is important. Do not let anyone, anyone else know about this, all right? About what? The fact that I'm actually kind of informal by nature. Ah, oh, so you're keeping the sit. You tell no one. Understood. Yes, man, Ventai. <laughs> hmm. Lady Ventus will. The room is now ready. Well done. Your body must ache. Rest early today, princess. Yes, ma'am. Now, Lord Arthur, allow me to show you to your room. Arthur? Yes. I heard that name of the... Oh. I heard that the name of the princess is Arthur. Hmm. But if that's the case, why would you call yourself by another name? Um. Am I really uh, a princess? I don't think my name is Arthur. Hmm. I see. Even the one thing you thought you remembered, it must be tough. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. It's only natural that you'd be a bit bewildered. I think it's the best that you turn in early today. If you're a member of the royal family, your identity shall soon be learned. In which case, you would have to admit that you've forgotten your name. But I haven't forgotten. My name is Goddess. Hmm, Goddess. That's a fancy name. You might use that name for now if you wish. But I'm telling you. I'll leave the rest to you, Vulcan. Of course. Now, princess, let's go. I really don't think I'm a princess. First of all, isn't Arthur a boy's name? Oof. Shots fired. Goddess. Yes? Don't forget about the promise we made earlier. What promise? Man! What have you already forgotten your, your inconsiderate cur? About the way I talk. My secret casualness. Oh, okay, I remember now. Honestly, how could I have slipped up so bad? Be sure you keep that promise, or else. Okay, I will. Well, this is your room, Miss Goddess. Allow me to explain your housing arrangements. Uh, please follow me. This is to be your diary. You may save your data here, Miss Goddess. When facing it, you may press X to open the diary. Please try saving your data now. Hmm, what do I want to do? Write a diary entry. By saving your data with the diary, everything related to you will be recorded for posterity. <laughs> Therefore, I recommend, I recommend that you save every day before going to sleep. Next up, let me explain about your bed. Really? Really? I'm pretty sure I know how a bed works. <laughs> Come, Miss Goddess. This feels weird. Please, I need only just a little more of your time. I swear it won't be much longer. No. Oh. Ah, uh, if you sleep in this bed, you're guaranteed good rest and will wake up promptly at 6am. 
You should try sleeping in your bed at night as much as possible. Sleep is good for you. If you don't sleep in bed, in the bed, you'll get tired and catch a cold. Sleeping will not only help you recover health, but also help your body grow and mature as well. Now, you must be wary after such a day. Since your HP is low due to the damage taken from falling, I would suggest you go to bed and rest immediately. Without HP, you'll be sent to the clinic after one hit. Okay. Then please examine your bed to ensure it meets with your approval and have a lovely night. It's time to wake up. Now he's pestering me. Ooh, purple hair! I'm <laughs> just standing on the bed. Sleep, but I could have sworn she just looked at me. Um, excuse me, are you awake? I should be my purple hair, thank you very much. Good morning. Oh, ah, good morning. How can you sleep standing there? I don't really know myself. Hmm, I think I came in here for something. Oh dear, what was it? Clarissa? But we should. Ah, oh, that's right. Mr. Vulcan asked me to come wake you. Are you awake yet? Uh, I think so. <laughs> oh, good. Good morning then, and I'm pleased to meet you. Clorica. Clorica. I'm goddess. With one S. <laughs> oh, how strange. Mr. Vulcan has said your name was Arthur. Oh, uh, no, my name is definitely goddess. I'd rather you call me that. As you wish, goddess. It's a very tasty sounding name. What? Tasty sounding. What? Anyway, I'm not terribly sure what is going on, but I'll do my best to serve you. Thank you very much. Oh, here. I made breakfast, so please. Why is there some voiceover and not all? Are they all or none? Seed apple pie. Ooh, that apple pie looks really yummy. Always been a favourite of mine, too. You're welcome. Press circle to eat. Eat every last bit now, okay? Very good. Yes. <laughs> eat one meal a day and become stronger and stronger. So don't forget to eat every day. I will, don't worry. I'll be taking my leave now. Okay. Okay, well, bye. Oh, but one last thing before I do. Goddess. Once you're fully awake, go outside using that back door. There's a field out there, and you're going to learn how to till it. Me? Till a field? That's right. Lady Ventus will lift very specific instructions. She said, those who do not work shall not eat. Well, I am supposedly a princess, right? That's right. So a princess is going to till the field. Of course, who else would? I thought a princess was supposed to have more of an elegant lifestyle. I can till ele you can till elegantly. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that. According to Lady Ventus Will, you're perfectly suited to tilling soil. What does that even mean? I'm not sure. Uh, probably based on trying to find stuff. Well, I guess I should go and find out. Let's explore our weird looking room first. Oh man, man, come on, could have been nicely, nicer, nicer done for me. Hello, Hunker Spunk. Good morning. Princess! <laughs> you are the princess, right? I'm waiting for you. I love his voice, he reminds me of, um, Thingy from... I think it's Ron High, Ron High School High School. I still may or might not be a princess. So will you just call me goddess? Please? Yes. 
Oh, even Fruits Basket. What a noble name. As noble as a turnip. What? Please allow me to formally introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Vishnal. I am trained here to be a full-fledged butler. No! Black Butler. The voice. The voice reminds me from Black Butler. Yeah, I think it's like the little, little, uh, little, um, little blondie. Not the cook. Ingrown harvest crops in the fields. Those harvested crops then can, can then be shipped in exchange for money. Oh man, who is it? Uh, his voice reminds me of, um, uh, of um he's a little dude he's uh finian reminds me of finian man that's a good series i'll have to re-watch it again it's such a good series use those ingredients for cooking and eating or give them to neighbours as presents. So from my understanding, it's basically like Stardew Valley. By giving your neighbours things they enjoy, you can foster a more intimate relationship. Thought and kiss. Moreover, after you build a mo monster barn, you can give presents to monsters and befriend them. Fuck yeah, I'm keen. I'm keen to, be to befriend some monsters. As you can clearly see, harvested crops have great many uses. Um, so it wouldn't hurt to grow an awful lot of them. Ugh. Farming can also swing you both physically and mentally. Fuck off. Physically, you're going with hives. Mentally, you just piss me off. I hear that some crops can even be used as weapons. What? Crops as weapons? Or grow into dungeons? At times, you'll find runes while harvesting crops. If you see one, don't forget to touch it, as it will boost your skills. What the fuck is this game? Runes? Oh, right, I forgot that you've lost your memory. Runes are the life energy of anything and everything organic in this world. In this case, what you may see are crystallized forms of runes overflowing from the crops. Um, so farm with love and your crops will undoubtedly be brimming with runes. Now, about the field. Yes, you did take care of it, mate. It seems to be covered in weeds. Quite. It's been this way since the last typhoon. Thank you. But I'm sure with a bit of elbow grease, you'll be able to fix her up in no time. I'll try my best. I knew I could count on you. Lady Ventusville had to have mentioned your farming talent for a reason. Wait, what? Did Venti say about me exactly? Now let me explain to you how the crops are actually grown. In order to grow crops, you must first till soil with a hoe. Man, I don't want to be used to till soil, thank you very much. Ah, uh, goddess, please take this. Received cheapo. Hey, I'm not cheapo, thank you very much. Uh, use this till use this to till the soil. Should you find your tilling attempts to be thwarted by weeds, you may dispose of said weeds by pressing X. Yes. Next, you will sow the seeds that sh shall soon sprout into lovely crops wherever you'd like. So you turn up seeds. Uh, after sowing the seeds, you just have to water them. A cheap water pot. She definitely ain't cheap, mate. What are the seeds once per day? It is important that you water them every day until the crops are ready for harvesting. And that's how you grow things. 
Now, goddess, it's your turn. Give it a try. You till, sow, and water. Have you got all that? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Yeah, how the fuck do I clean this shit up? Surely I can't till. seeds do we have? Just the one? Yeah, just the one that looks like. Oh, I need to fill it. That might work, hey. Thank you very much. It was simply amazing to see you handle that hoe. <laughs> Time to name this farm! This is really qualifies a farm. Absolutely. By building monster barns, befriending a livestock, you can collect their milk and shear their wool. It will be a true farmland in due time. Wow. You can also have the monsters help you with your farm and work off. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> now please think of a name. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Goddess Farm? Let's go golden. Because I'm so imaginative. What a sophisticated name! No, it's not. Although you might not have noticed yet, when you do when you do productive work such as farming, your RP rune points begins to decrease. When you use up all your your rune points, your hit points will start being consumed instead, making you faint from exhaustion if they fall too low. So please be careful. Rune points can be recovered by eating, bathing, or sleeping. At first, you'll find yourself getting tired quite easily. However, as you get used to it, it'll be much easier to work. Before you go, I have a present for you. Holy fuck. Turnip seeds. You can buy seeds at the general store. So if you'd like to grow more crops, that's the place to visit. Uh, by the way, Lady Ventiville was calling. The centre path leads to Lady Ventiscal's room. That would be the fastest way to get there. Cool. Um, how do I get rid of this shit? Keep. I think he just gave us 10, so it's gonna be like a stupid odd number, hey. Alright. Oh no, he gave us 9. I did not think that through, guys, at all. I thought I had. I like the little sounds. Do I need to fill it again? I just filled it up. Oops. 
Alright. Let's clean up what we can over here. Man, my nose is all stiffed. Contents picked up at 8 a.m. Estimate so ah uh, okay. Getting there, we're nearly a full. Alright, middle one, he said. What's my farming talent? Perhaps you don't recognize it yourself. But you have the natural talents of an earth mate. Earthmates are those who communicate with the earth and monsters. They have long been enriched in the earth through farming. That bump on the head must have messed with you far more than expected if you've forgotten that. Well, let's do an experiment. Come closer. Okay. What are we doing? Perhaps I can bring back your memory with my power. Well, really, yeah, anyway, I can't guarantee anything. I mean, let's try it. Please? Alright, alright. Come on, then, let's go. Well, mm, it's it's not working, so it doesn't work then after all. I can't bring back memory unless I'm involved in it. That's fair. Why don't you just give up? How could I possibly do that? Well, at least I, I at least... We at least know you're, that you're a princess, so you mustn't worry. We don't know that, that yet at all. We do so, you're just being stubborn. How about you go out and do some meet and greet with the locals? Someone might recognize your face. Oh, that's true. I'll do that right now. Wait, goddess. Hmm. Huh. When you don't ask around, will you come back here? Sure. Good. You may go now. Good conversations. If he's a doctor, he might be able to help me. No, probably not. like oh there was an aircraft well it didn't work I see I'm very sorry but don't be disappointed there's still a chance that you're the princess you can write a letter to the royal capital to confirm and if all else fails you can always start a new life here it's not that easy I know but I'm very serious and I think in time you two might find it the best course of action huh this town is filled with warm-hearted people they're all they'll all welcome you with open arms so there's no need to worry. Cheer up. Mentai. More than that. You have a star-shaped book with long hands. Uh huh. And who pray tell is addressing me? Arthur D. Lawrence, the thirteenth prince of Norad Kingdom. I will be staying here in Celsia starting today. Lady Ventuswell, I kindly ask for your guidance. <laughs> Told you. Yes. I thought I said let's say that'll be arriving today. What? <laughs> I told you it wasn't me! There's no way I could be the princess. Mmm, be quiet already. Even a perfect being can make a mistake or two in life. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. 
So you are the true prince then. Well, hard to explain. Uh, I'm a bit at a loss here. Uh, that's it. This person here claims to be a princess despite having no corroborating evidence. We'll never see in your face. We have no choice but to believe the little troublemaker. Why? Oh, shit. You're the one who kept insisting I was royalty. Shut up. He'll hear us. That's why we've given away the room which was prepared for you, I'm afraid. We beg your forgiveness. Oh, my. We take full responsibility for this grievous error and we'll do what we can to make it right. Goddess, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Will you stay at the inn for a while? I'll let them know. <sighs> it's all right. I wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. Please, wait. What, what will you do? Where will you go? Well, I'll stay at the inn until everything's settled. I'm sorry, goddess. Please, don't be. There's no need for that. Huh? This must have happened for a reason. Goddess, was it? Will you trade places with me and serve as a representative to this kingdom? What? Do you realise what you're saying? I am well aware. Yes. It's not a title you can just hand over to a stranger, you know. Can't I? I honestly don't think it's that important of a title. Of course, I'm not suggesting that we trade our actual names or positions. Just... Just what? What is it you're planning, exactly? There's something that I wish to do, but I can't do it if I'm busy running the town. So will you take on my responsibilities? Wouldn't this mean betraying your father? I'm prepared for that. Hmm. I can tell that you have true passion within your heart. You have my permission. All powers and responsibilities of the prince will be given to goddess. Fuck. Don't I get a say in this shit? <laughs> Well, they were your responsible was responsibilities anyway until Prince Arthur appeared before us. We'll just say nothing's changed and leave it at that. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Please, goddess. Bow before me, peasants. <laughs> What's there to think about? When you also move by Arthur's passion, you must give an answer now, yes or no. You got that? Now say yes. Uh You'll do it. Excellent. I knew we could count on you. Thank you very much. I'll explain the duties of a prince to you in the, in the coming days. For now, however, I must look for a place to stay. You should continue to use the room in the castle, since you are the acting princess after all. But to force a lady out of her room into the cold would just be inviting bad luck. I have a talent for negotiating. I don't anticipate any problems. Now I must be off. The fuck? Just what the fuck just happened? What a beautiful young man. <sighs> Playing the part of royalty is a once in a lifetime opportunity, no? Life is short. If you pass up opportunity simply because of a little memory loss, they'll be gone forever. I will tell Vulcan and everyone else to support you. I can help too if you need it. Okay. I guess it could be a good experience for me. Positive thinking is always good. I knew I could trust you, Goddess. Of course you'll say that now. <laughs> so what were you going to say earlier? Oh, yes, that. Oh, it was about the duties of a princess. Even though I'm not one, and I never said I was. My, you are a stubborn one. <laughs> anyway, let's discuss the matter now, shall we? In order to complete the duties as a princess, you must form connections with other residents. Trust is the most important aspect in your role as princess. So does that mean I should make friends with the townsfolk? Friendship doesn't necessarily lead to trust as a princess. You don't ask all your friends to help you work after all, do you? So that's why you f must first be trusted as a princess. And that's done by completing duties as a princess. Exactly. God, I'm sick of saying the word princess. But how? There's a red box in the square outside of that door. That's a red box. Well, that's a that's a request box containing the collective requests of everyone in town. By answering these requests, your work will be recognised. So I should just keep completing the requests in the box then. That will help you quickly build a good reputation among your loyal subjects. Uh, the better your reputation, the faster your far work will progress. Wait, how does that work? 
you'll see. No, 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 no. Tell me now. <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Oh my god, I'm talking way too much, and my nose is super fucking stuffed. Why don't you go and check what's inside the request box? How about no? How about you stop making me talk? Okay. Good luck! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. You just, you just, you just, what? It's just a request box. It doesn't look like a box. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Eliza. Huh? Who is that? Where are you? Ah, you can hear me? I can, but I can't see you. I'm right in, I'm right in front of your face. Whoa, the request box is talking to me. Maybe I should go to the clinic. No, that won't be necessary. I'm Eliza, the request box. I'm ever so glad you can hear me. Now listen up. Inside me list is a list of all important requests everyone has made. Because let's face it, everyone needs help sometimes. But you can't solve all of them at once. No, no. So I'll help you solve them one by one. You got that? Okay. Hmm, you're quite smart. Let's start by trying it out. By try taking a quest. Let's start with this quest. First task. Request to come to the order symbol in... Come to the order symbol in Castle Dragon Room. Reward Turnip Seed. Dragon Room Castle. Write it down. Okay, I wrote down the details of the quest in my notebook. Good, good, well done. By the way, you can check your current request by pressing the notebook. The notebook can be opened by pressing. If you find the request to be too difficult, you may cancel it from the notebook. Well, that should be enough explaining for one day. Your head is liable, liable to explode. Start by going to Castle Dragon Room right away. Dragon Room. <laughs> Who the fuck is that shit? What? Requester Eliza. Check the order symbol and drag it in. Order symbol. No, that won't be that. Good morning. Hello. Order. This is it. No, this is, no. That's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, so this is your order symbol. Okay, I was I was thinking, but I'm not. Nah. What am I supposed to be looking at exactly? Goddess, you just came from my room. You checked for requests at the request box, I assume. <laughs> I've been trying to find you. I would like you. I would like us to discuss your duties as princess. What do you mean? The main role of a princess is to give directives to help shape the future of the nation. Oh, so much fucking doing. You have to start. These directives are regarded as orders, and this is the place where you can make your orders. Orders? I think it'll be easy to understand if you simply try it. Please make an order with these. Received 50 princess points. Fuck yeah. What are these? These are the points you'll need to spend to make orders. They're representative of your skill and reputation as a bona fide princess. Oh, you can make many different kinds of orders by using these princess points. Princess points. We'll give it a try. Choose any order you'd like. Okay, got it. Let's begin with princess title. Apprentice, apprentice. I can upgrade the size capacity of various things like my back pack or expand upon my farm. Should I develop or expand upon? 
I'm going in my backpack. Now I can carry more items. Uh, you finally made an order. I did. Easy, wasn't it? Just use your princess points to make an order. And whatever you asked of your loyal subjects, it will come to pass without fail. Um, isn't it a little oppressive though for my will to be done without any question? I mean, but you are a princess. A princess, huh? What's wrong? I just don't want to make people mad by being too demanding, you know? This whole thing feels really selfish, I guess. No need to worry about that. It's not, it's not as, it's not as if you can do absolutely anything you want after all. It sounds like I can though. Not as long as there are princess points. Not as long as there are princess points you get. Put simply, princess point shows how much people trust you as a princess. As you, as you complete request box, you'll earn more princess points. In short, it's only when people trust you that you can save up enough princess, princess points to matter. Mm. It takes a lot of points to affect any sort of major change. So if you're not trusted or well-liked, your powers are very limited. Ah, uh, see, just think of it this way. If you have enough points to give an order, then you've earned the right to give that order. And since you've now completed my request, allow me to give you these as a token of my gratitude. You should have noticed that your princess points just went up. Note that you don't usually earn this much from one request. There's just one more thing I want you to do, and it will require a large number of points. So I added a bit of a bonus. I show a show of confidence in you, as it were. Oh, what do you want me to do? Well, let's go on the next request, shall we? The next request is to increase the number of tourists in this town by making an order. Tourists? Indeed. Money goes where the people go, after all. And the more money you make, the more you can develop the country. The role of a princess is to make this country a better place to be. And simply put, to accomplish that, tourists are absolutely essential. Alright, that makes sense. So, let's hold a festival to attract tourists, shall we? Ah, uh, festival? This is another one of those things that you'll likely learn a bit easier simply by doing it. Try to order a festival. Ah, I see you're talking. I think it'd be better to choose a festival if you can hold as soon as possible. That way you'll get a feel for the whole process much more quickly. A thousand and seven. Cooking. Spring six. Eight. Are we in spring? Yeah. Well, he said one sooner, so. Let's do it! Woohoo! What a place for cooking gone death. The event will occur on spring six. Well done, you attracted more tourists began the town's name out there. If the festival is aroused in success, like if you participate in it personally and really boost spirits, then you'll attract even more tourists in this town. It will be a booming metropolis in no time. I see. So uh, what is Apprentice Princess exactly? That's your title. Your present princess title is determined by the number of tourists. As you advance in rank, you'll be able to issue more and more complex orders. The more tourists you bring in, the more the town will develop, the more new times you have to purchase. Blah, blah, blah. For example, new vegetable and flower seeds, stronger weapons, more reliable armor, and all of this will also have you com complete more complex requests. Best of luck to you, your majesty. Uh, thanks. Well, that does it for my explanation of Prince's work. So, I guess my job here is done. You should check the request box every day, though it's very, very important. Now, if you'll excuse me. First, request solved. Trophy earned. It's a beautiful thing to help someone. Hang on to this feeling always. Total trophy progress, 1%. Request, request completed. Can my phone like, stop vibrating? Thank you, Discord. You can now leave me alone. Okay. Okay, so it's 9.14 in the morning. Yes. Skill up. So, uh, options. Okay. No, it's 10.20. <laughs> Hello, Koala. How are you? 
You said it was your birthday, what was it, yesterday? Day before? Oh, fuck, I can't remember. Happy birthday from I can't remember when. Because <laughs> I have the best memory. Cheers, bitch. No worries. How are ya? No idea what the fuck I'm doing. Anyway, that's all for now. Well done. I'll give you a new request next time. By the way... How to place furniture. Place some furniture. Reward? Don't know. The crest will wait till morning, I assure you. Ah, oh, so I can't. Okay. Sleepy, but that's normal. Yeah, that's pretty normal for you. <laughs> oh, we got a bomb. Well, you are used to you are used to town now, yes? No, this would be too soon, I think. But there's no hurry. Take your time and you'll find your place. Thank you. Oh, um, by the way, is that our pal? I ask your name. How do you know my name? How do you know my name? Oh, this is the first time we've met. Yes? Can't you remember? Um, it's hard to remember a name I haven't been told. After all, I don't even get my name added to gift exchange drawings. No, I told you. It's not that. I forgot. I was just so busy thinking about my own problems that I forgot to ask for a proper introduction. So I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. Now that you mentioned it, I do seem to remember being Clorico who told me your name. <laughs> Fuck. Oops. <laughs> it seems I was a little clumsy, much like Mama. Sorry. Oh well, this happens. Fuck. I hate this random voice fucking over. Like, can you need voices or not? I'm Nancy, pleased to meet you. I'm got it. My, my, how cool. You need me, sweetie. You can relax here. Alright, well then, if you insist. Though it's much easier said than done, I'm sure. Don't you worry. Hmm? Take it easy and get used to things a little at a time. There's no rush. You'll find that everyone here is kind and easygoing. Though there are a few nosy old ladies around, like me. <laughs> old? You are not old. Damn. Oh, but please don't call me an old lady to my face, okay? That would hurt my feelings. <laughs> Damn, if you're old, what does ancient look like? Forte. Nice. Are you going somewhere? There are monsters outside of time, so it's dangerous to be walking around. Monsters? Yeah. You can avoid them mostly, but sooner or later you might have to fight. Meaning I'll have to cut them down. That's right. Can't we all just get along? Ah, uh, no, I just mean... Don't worry. Defeating monsters doesn't mean you're killing them. What? The weapons and farm tools we use is a magic spell called Tamitaya cast upon them. This Tamitaya prevents our attacks from actually harming the monsters. Instead, sending them to the forest of beginnings. The forest of beginnings. That's the world in which the monsters live. They enter our world through roads called gates. Seems. To send them back to the forest of beginnings, we need a weapon with a Tamitaya spell cast upon it. 
you have such a weapon in your possession? Um, I don't think so. Why not use this one? Why thank you. Received. Claymore. Long swords are highly effective and cover large areas. You can attack multiple monsters at once too. Its downside is a slow swing which leaves you vulnerable to counter attacks. So try to anticipate your enemy's moves and use it accordingly. Man, she's definitely got things on her titties, eh? Right. Those fancy little dongles. Weapons are important partners that you trust with your life. You should find out for yourself. Which weapon suits you best? <coughs> I think that does it for explanations. However, I must ask you one more thing before you leave. How confident are you in your own skills? Uh... Oops. I did not mean to choose that. Oh, or I did, but not in terms of gameplay. <sighs> when the enemy's strength and overwhelms you, gaze upon the trophy in Castle Basement. Was that it? I can't forget. Now that's something I'd like to give you, if I may. Assist. You must always strive to carry food with you when you're leaving the town. By eating food, you'll gain benefits such as a healthy restoration and time skill boost. These benefits to change depending on the type of food you eat. Don't underestimate the power of a good meal. Unless you're fully prepared, it's really quite dangerous out there. Alright. My apologies for being so nosy. Please be careful. I don't think I'm meant to be attacking it, eh? This one. See, they do disappear. Right. down the uh, fucking sign.
This forest has a strange atmosphere to it. But plant? Oh. Right. Thanks for that random email or something that I already got twice this morning. It's an orc. Small shield equip. So how do I... I, don't know, I guess I'll know when I need it. Recovering potions, I have lots of them in fact. It's easy to take them all as a stack and to pick up and choose, but can I actually carry them? Maybe I pick them up one by one and reassemble the stack in my bag. Right. So you just complicated things then. An orange? I think they turned green for some reason. Ooh, what is that? Something's preventing me from going forward. I guess I should try again and after get rid of the monsters. trigger them to return. It doesn't need to be an earth uh, sudden revelation, it could be any little thing. So there's no need to rush or force things. Relax and wait, so they will return. It's now 10 to 2. Um, let's... Wait, 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 how are you feeling the memories? See, I mentioned I live in the housing area. Huh? My husband and I run a small clinic. Come by and visit some time, okay? Visit you at a clinic? Yes, at our clinic. I want to chat with people, you see. But the only ones who come to see us are our patients. Not all of them are well in the mood for long, entertaining conversation. But even if they are up for a chat, I can't exactly be glad they're there. So please do come visit whenever you like, for my sake. Uh, thanks for the invite. I think I will. No, no, no. I'm the one who should thank you. Oh, and my husband is a wonderful person. I think you will think you and he will become best friends. I'm sure. Well, then, I look forward to seeing you. Okay. Um. Man. Yeah. 
this is only general store 9 to 6 and 9 to 1 30. Wow, they even open a holiday that's all gone. Who are you? Oh, you're the super print. No, maybe you're not if we're going through this again. Hi oh, guys, how does your road work go? It's going fine. Wow. So how do you have a leaving those chores to you? Oh, it's not much. Of course, I shall assist you as much as I possibly can. So do not worry as much, alright? I look forward to good things from you in the future. Thank you. Irregular goods. What are these? Hmm, an apple? Why hello there? Oh no, so we're living in now. I thought I'd come and introduce myself properly. My my, how courteous of you. I'm very pleased to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Oh yes, we were in such a rush before I forgot to mention that I run a general store. I've never met you in my fucking life. Right here, out of my home, if there's anything you need, by stop by. You shouldn't be here to eat now. You here? Malcolm, how can I help you? Seeds and groceries. Pardon me. Magnifying glass. Now I'm used to check soil quality, equip, for example, fill to learn more about crops. Uh, too much things, I think. So I think I'm okay. Do you come again? Yeah, probably not. Not for a while, anyway. It's not surprising though, since Granny Blossom cleans. This place from top to bottom every day. How do we know that? Okay, I'm not going to creep anymore. Alright, let's go. Hello. Hello. What a huge tree! The flowers blooming from it is beautiful. It looks like something the shape of a whale is floating off the sky. It's fairly crazy, right? Ah, uh, that looks like a school. I can even see the ocean just beyond it. Ah, uh, there's a really big tower. It's much bigger than anything else out there. Okay. Cool. St. Cacquel Manor. Princess, aren't you? Is it too polite for me to call you just goddess? No, that's fine. I don't mind at all. Great, great. But that's what I'll call you. Oh, and you can just call me Margaret. Of course. This town is pretty big. I hope you're not getting lost. Oh, and try not to walk around too late at night. Okay, you can be dangerous. Um, okay. She reminds me of like an old, like Zelda from one of the older games. And be careful of this other thing too, or there's so many things I worry about. But you're ready. They say you're the person that just moved here from up in the sky. Wait, what? So why did you decide to move down here if you're living up here? Air too thin? Uh, well, oh yeah, that's right. I also said you lost all your memories. Sorry. Wasn't very enough for me to bring that up, was it? It's okay. 
Oh, if there's any, ever anything you want me to do more about, come on. I've been studying this whole area for a long time now. I know more about it than anyone else who lives here. Okay. Alright, I like hearing about things from other people too. So if you're curious about any rumours, I can probably fill you in on those too. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask? Oh, oops, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kiel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alright, Kiel. Hello. Flowers look so beautiful, don't they? Try not to cut them with your sword, please. No, you said not since I was a child. Have you had a. Yes, he's my younger brother. Any questions about Lady Ventusville? I suggest you ask him. He knows quite a lot. You see, he's saying the native dragons. Lady Ventusville and her kind fascinate him. I have her. I suggest you try and. You, I suggest you not trust every last thing he says. He's prone to spreading baseless rumors. He is. He doesn't mean to. He, he just has something I had a doubt, so he trusts everything he hears. Such um, that I like girly sweets, or that I am scared of silly things like ghosts. Those are just rumours, you know. Baseless, untrue rumours. <laughs> Please don't fall for them. Understand? Ah, sure. No, do you like sweets? Now there's someone in this corner, apparently. Apparently he's like... There. You can see him on the screen. So where are you? So you're not up, because up... You can see his head on the map. Like he's... Supposedly like there. I don't know. I don't know! Lena Farr. Hi there, my name is Lynn Farr. Oh, okay. Ho. Oh. Uh, now that I think about it, this is the first time we've met, is it? No, but I was kind of in a rush before. Oh. Oh my, so we haven't had a chance to introduce ourselves then. Well then, how about we do that now? Very please. Hey, cowboy. Negate. He needs to know his role. <laughs> Hello, builders. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Yes, I asked Colin in any way of his way to assist me. Honestly, his generosity is staggering. He has lent me not only room but airship too. Presently, I am using the home next to the restaurant as my office and trade center. I fully intend to repay poor Colin for his kindness in any way I can. Apparently people up here. Can I get to them? No? No? Those people don't exist to me apparently? Okay. Okay. No man, my nose is so blocked. Okay. Ooh, not what I wanted. Uh, I just lost myself. Um. Black grass. Grass with a dull and silver. I'm not black. So I'm stepped on. Um, bluegrass. Nifty bluegrass. Cognitive medicine. Nope, don't get rid of that. 
get your usable material out of it. Now I kind of feel like right now we'll just get rid of it. <sighs> Antidote grass, glass pure poison body, very bitter but effective. Weeds. Uh, turn up seeds. Used as yarn. Three hundred. Ah, two hundred. Jesus. Where the fuck should I get three hundred from? All right, so we've got four. Two. Skill up. Hell yeah. And I'm ready to go to sleep all of a sudden. What the fuck? Water and that it is shot coral. Yes! Alright. I'll pick you up tomorrow. Damus Goddess is simply upgrade everyone in town. Sophie is a marvelous place. So we'll go to love it in no time. Oh, have I? Man, the music in the menu in just here reminds me of um, Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of Pokemon Stadium right now. No monster friends. Okay. Um. And then we couldn't do anything. We can't do another another quest until tomorrow. Hey? Oh, oh, oh my so ready for bed. Oh, goodness. All right. How's there still water in this? Aha! I spoke too soon. I did it! Today's how to place venture. Write it down. Write down the details of my quest in the notebook. The quest is from Clo ha, who is this? It's partially unreadable, but I, I'm gonna assume it's from Clorica. She probably fell asleep while writing this. Oh. Looks like she wants you to learn how to use furniture through this request. Clorica sent you a storage box. It came with a letter. Let's see. The storage box can fit everything but raw food. But that's not all, so listen closely. You can place furniture like the storage box went anywhere you want. To move a piece, just examine it and select pick it up. You can decorate your room any way you'd like. And if you decide you no longer need an item, you can just break it into pieces. Try different arrangements though and see how they suit you. I would recommend placing useful furniture like the storage box in your room though. And that's all she wrote. Like, well, like she said, you can try experimenting with different arrangements. When you're satisfied with how things look, talk to me again. It's my storage trunk. Ah, pick it up. Okay. Did 
you get the hang of it. Absolutely. All right, you've completed this request. All right, it seems like Clorac has given you something useful as a reward. Hmm, let's see. This is a calendar. You can check people's birthdays and festivals schedules with it. There are many other types of furniture too. I'm sure that someone will sell some to you once you become an esteemed princess. Well, that's all for now from Claw. <laughs> Honestly, that girl is hopeless. Well, you did a good job. Let's continue with this tomorrow. It's my calendar. I'll pick it up. not in the middle. I bet you I won't be able to get it in the middle either. Oh yeah, close enough. Good enough. Uh, cooking contest. Fishing a frenzy contest. Spring. Okay. Goddesses, Bethany. All right. Um, well, what do I do? Um, development, a backpack, five hundred. No, I think okay. What do I do? Um, first shit, delicious crops and beautiful accessories. I want to see everyone's smiling faces. Total trophy progress, 2%. Now it was down here and now I feel like I did something wrong by choosing the wrong thing earlier when it came to fighting. But it doesn't seem I can change it, change anything. So I don't know. points for this. Yeah, I get like two. Level two. Orc, orc, archer, ant and beetle become to get attacked by wild beetle. What level am I with my skill? Four. Alright. Actually, I should probably might save first. Actually, while I'm saving, I'm going to get up and stretch and go to the toilet and I shall be back in a moment, guys.
Welcome back everyone. Oh. Welcome, 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 welcome. Luke's got to keep an eye on the time. I do have a, an alarm to go off at 12.20 in case I am still streaming. As I've got a doctor's appointment at 12.50. I don't know how to block, so I have it equipped. Have you guys played this game before or know of the series? Pike Sashimi. Unfair. That's a little unfair. Makes sense that they respawn, but still a little unfair. Do I know how to block? Would it be so bad? Man, I think I really did fuck myself up. Um, with that conversation. Whoops. Did you come from? Ah, oh, that's a little unfair that you're respawning. I need to get rid of you. Yeah, I figured out a long sword attack. Hold down for a long time, then let go. And I'll turn him straight into the air. Okay. See, I don't know Aha. Uh -huh. Defeat all the enemies. Okay. Okay. 
Now that I've defeated the monsters, I continue onward. Maybe I should try again with the monsters when I hit a roadblock like this. I just did. She did a mushroom. Okay. Butterflies again. Just last time I met an enemy. I wonder what's out there. Fuck I chose. <laughs> Hello. Hello. There's anything you'd like. There's some ice items here, rice and such. Um see this family grow. <laughs> oh, I love it. No, that was the general store, hey. Sounds, huh? Sounds? What light is she implying here? Okay, yep, I was right. You definitely have a nice yelp. I can tell that you're a nice person, goddess. What? Don't I describe my senses as an artist? We know a pleasant sound when we hear one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm being an artist. Have anything to do with that? Yeah, that's just, uh, yep, yeah, okay. No, I'm looking for thingy me jiggy. The, um, thingy, uh, that, um, Guard person. See if there was a way to change my fuck up. But I feel like there isn't. I feel like I just fucked up by choosing a dialogue that sounded cool and then I just went hell. Yeah, she's not there. Good afternoon. Barrett, you there. Me? Yeah, you. Are you? What? You've got the same air about you as they did. I wonder. Um, oh, sorry. What's your name? Uh, ah, I'm Barrett. I'll be stopping by this town every now and again. I hope to see you then, goddess. Oh, and by the way, I'll, took a look, I'll, I'll take a look at your gear if you're curious about what was used to strengthen it. Please. You aren't equipped with anything right now. If you want me to check your gear for you to go equip it first. Um, see you later. No, I'm after... So I feel like the dialogue just fucked me over. So I wasn't really reading it. Have you acclimated to life here? Yes, thank you. I'm going a little more custom to it. Yes, um, you wouldn't be so formally with me. Oh, I would really rather you didn't, actually. I'm still only training to be a butler. I'm not yet fit to serve anyone. That is why I ask. No, I beg you to be informal with me. <laughs> I would like you to be my pretend master so I can hone my skills as a butler. And the way I talk will help you pretend I'm your master. Appearances can be very important, you know. Please see it as a great favour to me. Thank you so much. No problem. It doesn't sound all that hard. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind terribly. No person for me to call you princess. Um, I'm not a princess, you know. Uh, I know that. It's just, well, it's, um, it's always been a dream of mine. Let me think about this. It's a little embarrassing, to be honest, but I guess it can't hurt now and again. Yes. Thank you so much. No worries. Now, show me where I can find this stupid person. 
Let's see if I can fix my fuck up. Hello. No, not you. Hello. I don't know if it's even possible to fix it. If it's an option. Or whether it's a thing and I just suck, which is probably more likely. I do like you can see them on the map. No, you weren't the one I'm... You. This is amazing. Back to practice sword swinging. That might be true, but please put away your sword before you hurt somebody. Seems to become quite accustomed to handling your weapons. It's easy to tell you move with such greater confidence now. How do you nice dragons. I don't believe he's lying. Alright. Oh, okay. Hey, um. I love you. Okay. That's cool. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Skill up. Do I get a skill up because she's with me? This way, then we'll go down. Right, so she does help, which is good. It's not just, uh... Alright, noted. I'll have to keep that in mind for when I come out from now on. To bring her along if I can. Right. Mind you, she wasn't doing anything then. Right, so she does and she doesn't. Gotcha. Yeah! These fuckers that got me last time. I think she just um, gave me some health. So I swear it went down and then it went up. easy with her, so yeah, I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, hello. Yeah, cool. Definitely keep that in mind. Oh, God, who are you? Oh no. Butterflies? They definitely lead to monsters, eh? What lies beyond here? I sense something mysterious coming from just ahead. Looks like I can update my diary here. I should do that now. Yeah. If there's an update point, it's definitely uh definitely telling you. So 
so many butterflies. Is that a pupa? It's moving. I'll go fight. Yes, we shall go fight together. Oh, she's out. You're young and fired up and all of them, but this time I make I'm asking shit. It's time I leave the town. Watch, I must be going. Oof. Okay. Is there anything else you feel unsure about? Please don't hesitate to come talk to me. Both Ness and I do whatever we can to help. Thank you. Please don't feel like you need to send up money, but I'd say come visit us whenever you like. Thank you. It's nothing. Well, then I'll see you again later. Well, God. Damn it! That kicks my ass. Where am I? I don't know. Like we made some progress and then it just went, <laughs> no. fire in his eyes. Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks. Oh. Have a wonderful day. Welcome back. What are you doing? Practicing with greetings. The most basic of basics, you know? It's the most basic of basics, gotcha. Ah, okay, nothing on today. Born in this, yes. Yes, my pretty yes. What are the chances it's not going to cover all of it? God, <laughs> you bastard! One. Unstitches when you use it. Unstitches when you use so much as breathe on it. Okay, definitely something you. Wild mushroom. You would have to test and see if it's safe to eat on. Go on, I dare you. I would have to make one more. Ah, uh, you hit it with a hammer to make use more. Weeds. With the grass. Because light but tough. Insect carapace. Doesn't say anything about. Uh, freshly sliced pike. Eat it with soy sauce. Lumbar. Always keep a lot in stock until they come in handy. Stick. These materials. I think it's two, I guess. Monster jaw strong enough to chew through just about anything. Turn up seeds. I'm sorry, it's easy. Have fun on it and then you can play with it, but don't try it at home. Alright, let's just leave it at that. And then let's actually use this. Whoops. And we'll put in our. Uh, we shall put in our wool. 
a branch. Rock. Any materials? Basically. So we just have our food with us, basically. Um, find out today's request. Here are today's requests. Make lumber. Chop lumber. Lumber stone box. Write it down. Which I just just put all away. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I write down the deal so I press my box. This request is from Look for the whole touch to try to help you out. Lucky you, I guess. Hmm, let's see. Today's request is chopping lumber. Lumber is used in building large furniture and extending rooms. I would like for you to learn how lumber is produced. You sound stiff, even in writing, huh? Mm. But she left you a gift. Are we harvesting? I've already done some harvesting. Hello, kind of wolves. Kida, kind of wolves. I feel like you're a first time chatter. I can't, I'm not on the computer. But hi, welcome, how are you? We just harvested, didn't we? Please don't make me uh, second guess my, uh, my memory. How are you wolves? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's an ax would be for, yes, here we go. You can make lumber by chopping up stumps and branches. Stumps and branches can be found in the fields. Really? First, start using this axe to make lumber. Even if you can't find any stumps or branches, they will naturally grow over time. Good, I have this game too. Have you played it? Have you played this game? Um, this is my first time playing any form of room factory game. Um, and I'm loving it so far. I've always loved like the Seasons games and Stardew Valley, so... Um, yeah. Um, did you get all that? When you're done making lumber, let me know. I know there's some stuff in my field that I need to get done. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck on boss three. When's boss three? Because <laughs> I, I had a boss just before that I was so confused with. Didn't we get... Wait. Wait, didn't we get a thing? Farm tool. Oh, maybe... What? Maybe I didn't pick it up. Oh, no, I didn't pick it up, you fuckwit. Quit. There we go. Man, that's huge. And terrifying. To look at. Jesus. Do you chat with your viewers? I do chat with my viewers. I do my absolute best to um, respond to... I do... Uh, stop if... Stop it. You've seen bigger. Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
then Fridays and Saturdays are on the PlayStation. I joined the server. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Um, there we go. Said hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But yes, Saturdays are, are normally PlayStation 4s. She's a lazy bear on the couch. Hey, I'm allowed to be a lazy bear on the couch, all right? <laughs> My advice, don't die a lot. The hospital bills is nuts. Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm doing my best. Yeah, I had my first hospital bill before, like 192, and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> well, so far they're definitely cheaper than Stardew, so I'm not complaining about that. Weird walking around with things. A nurse must carry many different kinds of medicine with her at all times. Ended up potion, paragon, memory bandages. Ah, oh, sorry, not that one. Wait. What was that you just brought out? I saw some kind of dark red stain on it. That would be blood. Oh. Oh. Come on, you can't just say that and then like not give me anything. Good, you did it. Let me read the rest of Forte's letter. Since you'll be using a lot of lumber, storage is necessary. So here's what you can use. A lumber stone box. You can pick up your lumber and place it inside with storage. That seems to be it. Very dry, but consider it. It seems you can also store material stone there, but I'll talk about that next time. Oh, by the way, are you used to taking requests yet? I can give you two per day starting tomorrow if you want. Well done. I'll give you more requests tomorrow. Request completed. Oh, thank God. Toss lumber to Okay. Um, after I just dumped. Um, Put it all on my chest over there. That would be fucking right. <laughs> Shim wool will stay there. Oh fuck, what's the time? Ah, oh, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Toss it. I've got to toss it in there. <laughs> that was awesome! So not you, not you, not you, gotcha. Chica 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 cha. Ow, ow. 
ow, ow. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's uh, attempt at not dying this time. The thing. She was forte. Can I drag her along again? She was actually really handy. No, not you. Probably the most obvious spot in the whole wide world. Actually, right, it's not next door. I like going out with her. I died less. And I like not dying. Da 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 Hmm, okay, fine. Fine. I don't know how to defend. Because, um... Like, I have the... the shield but I can't defend. I don't know. I'm missing something here. Man, I really want to go out with Forte. Is that her? Bye. No, it's not. Where's Forte? See where they are? No, so it can't be a creep. Skill up for like surviving. It's kind of what it feels like. Which I get a skill up over time I survive a day. Oh, guess I'm going on my own and dying. Let's go. Let's do this. Getting rid of that sign, no big deal, no one needs it, right? We'll keep that on hand. Oh, I've definitely gone up in skill, which is nice. They're taking less hits to die. Fabulous some more. Thank you. Mind you, I just did realize I can still use Discord while I'm here, can I? So it's through my phone, hey. I should probably do that. Man, I wish my Pikachu earbuds worked. But they work. And you can see that they turn on and try to connect. But the name of the earbuds don't show up in my Bluetooth list on my phone, which is so fucking frustrating. So uh, my partner got it to me, gave them to me as a gift for anniversary, and I can't use them. Which is sad because they're Pikachu. But yes, I will look into. Oops. Um. Also being on Discord while playing on the PlayStation 2, guys. Hmm. 
Oops, press the wrong button. They're not attacking me, that's nice. That's considerate of them. Not was. Oh damn it, let's try to um, use my health before they spawn. Or oh, saw me really. Wrong button again. everything. Man, this is what I was trying to hunt down Forte. <laughs> mm. Well, I might go save guys and end it here because I might have some lunch before I head to the doctors. Um. Where am I going? I don't know. There, that's me and the done. Yeah, well done. <laughs> thank you thank you to everyone for coming and come talking to me i appreciate it um if you're enjoying this please hit that follow button i would absolutely love you um thank you to the new two wolves thank you thank you thank you um welcome to the goddess realm Oh, but yes, thank you all to everyone. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I may do a, another stream uh, a little later after lunch. I'm not sure yet. Um, but if not, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow for another PlayStation 5 Saturday. All right. I love you all. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.